Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, November 5th to November 11th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this is just a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and uh, it was not your personal reading Therefore, uh, here in this video, I'm going to explain the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But again, it falls to you to make sense of them and so align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So... Uh, we have now a four card tarot spread here for uh, the week and we are to do the tarot reading first and then after that we are to do the Lenormand one and uh, the first card of the tarot spread is showing the topic for Scorpio week and this is to be the seven of wands so we do have a week of, uh, of struggle <coughs> in general uh, the seven of wands uh, it, it does represent infiltration if I may express it that way and I'm not re really happy seeing this card here but it does look like that there will be a, an issues uh, that are arising either into our career or either into our relationship most likely through a, a gossips uh, most likely through some uh, minor and petite surreptitious activities from the people that we had uh, put a great trust in and uh, these things are to escalate to a, a great extent if we don't address the issue straight away so it is kind of like a, a week where you have to be extra vigilant uh, vigilant whom you play uh, whom we place as i said our trust in and as well whom we are crossing our paths with that is very important because this card as well may represent that we are trying to kind of compete with a, a person that has a, a pretty big means in their arsenal and generally we did not made our we did not made yeah our ho homework of what that person is capable of seven of wands however is reassurance here that we can definitely stand our grounds and uh, we can win that battle however uh, again the battle requires from us to be um, heroic first of all and second to um, accurately seize the window of opportunity in which we can really make something happen or we can do something about it so in that specific case uh, the uh, seven of wands could represent that someone is wanting our place in our career someone doesn't want to see us uh, prevailing here or being successful in our career or relationship wise that could be a, a third party who is trying literally to uh, break our relationship apart because they either like us and they want to be with us or because they either like our partner or they want to be with our partner in any case this card here Scorpius asks you to guard your ground to uh, guard everything that you have worked for and don't allow lightly people to take advantage with your benefits and with in general with your uh, with the projects that you are working on and uh, at this very moment the core of the situation here this is to be the four of pentacles and we do have a complete actions of envy here uh, because you are now stabilizing yourself because you are now kind of like consolidating your positions <clears throat> And you are taking those necessary defensive measures, Scorpio, to uh, quench, um, to quench your happiness in general. You know how happy you are into your career or how happy you are into your relationship. The Four of Pentacles here points that uh, <clears throat> you are establishing your estate, and because most likely these people here either are envy of how big your estate is or they want to be a part of your estate but you don't allow them to be a part of your estate they will try to basically break the walls again of your estate so the four of pentacles here asks you to take the necessary defensive measures against those people so we have a huge amount of infiltration and a huge amount of push from the exterior throughout this week 
to either um, seriously disturb your business for example or to disturb your project or again to disturb your uh, relationship and <clears throat> this is due to the fact you know that you have worked very hard for it but in the same time um, not in the same time but that hard work is finally giving results and uh, basically those people don't like you to see benefiting from those results the challenges that you are to overcome here which are causing predicaments this is to be the tree of wands so uh, very very difficult to be explained the tree of wands here represents the uh, the movement on the already established patterns so it's kind of like you know what needs to be done. Uh, you know that what uh, what the situation requires from you, but in some case you may, uh, in some way, excuse me, you are to feel yourself very, very reluctant to uh, to take the necessary measures against the opposition. I don't know why, but personally for me, um, this is probably something that it is yet to happen throughout the week. All right. And when the time comes, I am to um, I am to take the appropriate measures. But uh, in general, this card here represents that you need to start. You need to sit on the already established patterns. You know, already established plan that you have created for yourself. And just because you do have a competition here, that doesn't mean that the plan needs to change. All right, the plan needs to be consolidated even further despite that uh, you will have those predicaments here caused by the peripheral people which you know basically want to see either your failure or in generally want to see you uh, acting like they want so doing their bidding the tree of wands also represents the um the synergy in between what is to happen and your effort so for some reason here we do have a disturbance in other words that uh, what you want to achieve uh, throughout the week it is not beyond your grasp however is going to take much more extra efforts that you have origin originally anticipated therefore uh, you need to be um, very devoted and this extra focus upon the task at hand in case you do want in case you do want it executed and in case you do want it uh, manifested in any case the tree of wands it's a, a very potent card for growth so the growth itself is going to be a, a challenge throughout the week but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be achievable however it is very important to acknowledge the four of pentacles if you decide to stay in your domain in general in your comfort zone no matter how the competition tries they will not be able to breach the only breach that could happen is if you try to expand your comfort zone which can happen again saying it's going to be very very challenging but it is not impossible so it depends on your decision how you are to proceed forward will define how strong the competition here is and the last card it is the um the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Scorpio, we do have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, it's a, a very, uh, it's a very heavy card. So uh, this card advises you to first stay into your comfort zone and exert full control in that comfort zone itself. Uh, <clears throat> Ten of Wands is a, a drive for for power, the drive for to prove yourself worthy over something, the drive to show yourself capable, no matter the, the cost, no matter the circumstances. And uh, in that specific case, let me run you a, a full, um, a few, excuse me, a few examples. Let's say that you are chasing a promotion because again, the Four of Pentacles points that you are very suitable into the position that you are in. Well, obviously we do have a competition here which is to play very dirty uh, regarding that specific place of promotion and you are to have extremely hard time, you know, um, pushing into that direction and having your things the way you want them into the direction of the promotion but should you um, disregard the cost of those efforts should you disregard you know the means um, the, the 
the vastness excuse me of the means necessary to get that promotion and you truly exert your power then you are to totally annihilate and i'm talking about annihilate your um your competition here but again it is required a, a very determined actions and it is required a a, a, a very a, a huge strong will here i mean you should not doubt in yourself for a, a moment the ten of wands as well um, asks you to know who your friends are or whom you are depend from that is also important and to please their needs in the sense of that if the promotion case is in play for you well obviously you do uh, depend on your boss and the owner of the company then you have to do whatever you can to please their needs so you can get the promotion and so you can get the upper hand upon the competition <clears throat> and uh, if it is about relationship then obviously if you start fulfilling the needs of your partner then the competition here the third party will have no chance whatsoever to and throw them but this is going to be again difficult uh, so that was the tarot reading for you Scorpio not the idea one guys but again uh, it is what the card points uh, and now we are to go to the uh, Lenormand, uh, Lenormand card spread which is to show a event that it is um, something that you should either look forward to or simply try to avoid so the first card that we do have, this is to be the tower. Now the tower stands for government institution, it stands for business, it stands for isolation as well, or seclusion. The next one that we do have, this is the bear. The bear stands for resources, it stands for support, it stands for strong will, strong headed. <clears throat> and for motherhood as well now then the last one this is to be the coffin the coffin stands for ending the coffin stands for uh, stop and as well it stands for a um, it generally it's like the death card the ending of an era so what we do have here is pretty much undefined so this is going to be the final call over something which gives you resources, over something that gives you stability, over something that gives you security as well. And the final call does not mean, um, you know, that things are going to go in uh, against your favor. The final call means that should you be strong-headed here, you are to conserve, um, you are to conserve your belongings. But if you show low in spirit here, if you show low in, um, <clears throat> low in personal sovereignty, then obviously whatever you have worked for is going to be taken away from you. I will pull one more card just so I can see what is going to be the outcome of it. We do have the, um, we do have the bucket and the bucket points to bonuses. It points to um, benefits and it's a gift. So we do have a, a positive outcome, guys. I mean, this is what happens. The business resources are to take a new turn, a new era here. The ending of the old ones and the beginning of the new ones, which are to come as a, a gift, as a, a benefit, as a, a surprise, as a, a bonuses. So at the end of the day, should you be very strong uh, and... Um, should you uh, not allow people to mess with your things and to infiltrate your personal domain, your your um, kind of like um, environment as well, and to alter your relationships, your projects, and in general, you know, your things. Um, it doesn't look like that you will have much of a problem, all right? But if you are low in spirit and you are prone to basically don't go in, um, not go into conflict, then obviously those people will have what you have. Well, they are going to take, excuse me, what you have or what you have worked for. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, November 5th to November uh, 11, 2018. Again, this was just a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. 
Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.